The universe is governed by laws and principles that work perfectly and harmoniously. And you are an essential part of this universe, with your own energy and vibration affecting everything around you. If you learn to polarize your mind into positive thoughts and focus on the good things in life, you will attract to you the happiness, well-being, and abundance you deserve. I want to talk to you about the big truth, a truth that many know, but few dare to accept. What you think manifests. Thoughts are things. It is your attitude that determines everything that happens to you in life. You are the creator of your own reality. There is a truth that we can use to tackle this task, a truth that can help us create the life we desire. Everything we think becomes a reality, whether it is positive or negative. Thoughts are things. You are in the habit of thinking that you are healthy and strong. You always will be. But if you change your thinking and let the fear of disease instill in you, you will start to get sick. You believe you are rich. You always will be, unless someone convinces you otherwise and you yourself begin to believe that your situation can change. Abundance begins in your mind and only then can it materialize in your life in the form of money, love, health, work, relationships, etc. The life you experience is a reflection of your thoughts and beliefs. If you have negative and limiting thoughts, you will create a negative and limiting reality. But if you have positive and expansive thoughts, you will create a positive and expansive reality. This law, this principle, is called the principle of mentalism. What is a principle? It is an invariable law that never fails. This principle tells us that everything in the universe is mental, that everything we experience is a creation of our own mind. If we want to change our reality, we must first change our thoughts. We must learn to think positively and to believe in ourselves and our capabilities. This process is not easy, but it is possible we must begin by becoming aware of our thoughts and the beliefs that limit us. We must learn to transform our negative thoughts into positive thoughts and to focus on what we want to create instead of what we fear or do not want. We must learn to use our mind as a creative tool and to trust ourselves and the power of the universe to help us create the life we desire. It is time for you to open your eyes to the great power that resides within you and that, unfortunately, you have been ignoring. The great truth is that your thoughts are things, and what you think will manifest in your life. That's right, the law of mentalism is an invariable law that governs our existence on this earthly plane. Your thoughts are the mold that shapes your reality. If in your mind resides the idea that accidents lurk around every corner, that the ailments of old age are inevitable, or that you are a victim of bad luck, let me tell you that this is what you will see manifest in your life. It is common for many to live in ignorance of the laws that govern life and to be guided by beliefs that do not belong to them. These ideas are formed as we grow up influenced by our environment, education, and the words we hear. That is why many spend their days living in conditions contrary to their deepest desires, in a cycle of pain and suffering that seems to have no end. It's time for you to wake up from that dream and start taking control of your life, your thoughts, your words, and your actions. Leave behind the limiting ideas and beliefs that have been holding you back and start thinking big. Believe in yourself, in your abilities, in your creative power, and you will see how everything changes around you. Because if you believe that abundance is your divine right and you keep that belief in your mind, prosperity will come to you in abundance.
understand that the law of mentalism is an immutable law, which works without exception in all human beings. You want to change your life, you must change your thoughts. It is very important that you always keep in your mind thoughts of love, gratitude, hope, and prosperity. Do not be satisfied with the life you lead today, if you are not satisfied with it. You are a divine being, with unlimited creative power, and you can achieve anything you set your mind to. Dare to dream big, to believe in yourself, to be master of your thoughts and your destiny. Always remember that life is a gift and is waiting for you to enjoy it to the fullest. You are never a helpless victim of circumstances, but you are the creator of your own reality. You are the cause of the results due to your thoughts, feelings, and actions. As a being endowed with free will, you have the ability to choose what thoughts you allow to inhabit your mind and, and therefore, what kind of reality you create for yourself. No one can dictate your thoughts. You can choose them without exception. Knowing that your thoughts create your reality and it ends up materializing, which thoughts do you choose to have? Positive and motivating thoughts or negative and fearful thoughts? If you learn to cultivate positive and expansive thoughts, your life will be transformed into a reflection of the beauty and harmony you emanate from within. In this sense, metaphysics teaches us that the power of the mind is infinite. If you focus on your strengths and capabilities, they will expand and multiply. If, on the other hand, you focus on your weaknesses and limitations, they will be reinforced and keep you stagnant. It is important to understand that your thoughts are the mold that shapes your reality, and that if you want to transform your life, you must begin by transforming your mind. Just as a seed planted in the ground needs to be nurtured and cared for in order to grow and flourish, your thoughts need to be cultivated and nurtured so that they can manifest in your life. If you sow thoughts of love, gratitude, and prosperity, they will germinate and bear fruit in your life. On the other hand, if you sow thoughts of fear, envy, and scarcity, these seeds will grow and give rise to painful and discouraging experiences. When we find ourselves in difficult situations, it is easy to blame God for our misfortune, but this is a mistake. The truth is that we are the creators of our own lives, and what we experience is simply a reflection of our deepest thoughts and beliefs. If we believe that life is hard and that God is against us, that is what we will manifest in our experiences. It is important to understand that the idea that God is the cause of our suffering is a limiting belief that has been passed down through generations. The truth is that God is love, and His will is always for our well-being. As human beings, we have been endowed with free will and it is our choice what we manifest in our lives. You must understand that God loves His children unconditionally even if they are not acting in the best way. God is love, and that is why He tries through trials and difficulties to make you wake up and surrender to the path of love and gratitude. God is a loving and everlasting Father who is always by your side. He has given you the power to create your own reality and it is your choice whether you use that power in a positive or negative way. It is always possible to change your limiting thoughts and beliefs to manifest a more positive and fulfilling life. Instead of begging God to deliver us from the suffering we have created ourselves, we should take responsibility for our own creations and work on ourselves to change what we do not like in our lives. Instead of blaming God, we should give thanks for the love and goodness He always offers us and use that love to create a better life for ourselves and others. You want to change what you are experiencing in your life. You must change your deepest thoughts and beliefs. 
Instead of believing in God's ill will, choose to believe in His love and goodness, and you will see how everything in your life begins to change for the better. You are the master of your own destiny, and with God's help, you can create the life you truly desire. Even so, it is common that in times of pain and suffering, human beings seek comfort and divine help. However, many times we have been taught a distorted vision of God, as if He were a capricious and vengeful being, alien to the goodness and mercy attributed to Him. It is true that sometimes, when we ask for divine help, it seems that God does not hear us or does not answer us in the way we expected. But haven't we asked ourselves if our limiting beliefs and thoughts are preventing us from seeing the divine answer? Sometimes the pain we are experiencing is an opportunity for us to open our eyes and hearts to new possibilities. How can we reconcile the idea of a kind and loving God with the idea of a vengeful and punishing God? The answer lies in ourselves. We are co-creators of our reality, and our beliefs and thoughts have great power to manifest situations and events in our lives. We believe in an evil and vengeful God. That will be our experience. But if we recognize that we are children of a loving Father, who has given us the free will to create our reality, then we can begin to manifest a fuller and happier life. We cannot attribute to God the calamities that we ourselves create with our thinking. We are imperfect beings, and many times we make mistakes and wrong decisions. But God, as a loving Father, has given us the ability to learn from our mistakes and grow as human beings. Instead of focusing on divine punishment, we should focus on our own capacity for creation and our responsibility to manifest a full and happy life. Instead of looking outside yourself for divine help, look within and discover the divinity that already resides within you. You are a being created in the image and likeness of God with the ability to manifest your own reality and create a full and happy life. Recognize your power and your divinity, and you will see how life surprises you with new opportunities and blessings. True connection with God is based on gratitude and love. Prayer is a powerful tool that allows us to connect with divine energy and manifest our needs and desires. But for prayer to be effective, it is necessary to have faith and trust that God always hears us and guides us to good. It is true that sometimes it seems that God does not hear us or does not answer our prayers in the way we expect. But in reality, this does not mean that God does not care about us or does not want to help us. In many cases, the lack of response may be because our requests are not aligned with the divine will. That is why it is important that we learn to pray with gratitude and humility recognizing that God always knows what is best for us and that His will is always good. When we learn to trust God in this way, we can be sure that our requests will be answered in the way that is best for us. Just like a free bird that spreads its wings and soars into the sky, you too can free yourself from everything that keeps you from being the best version of yourself. Don't forget that you are a divine being, created by a loving Father who desires the best for you. And though you may feel lost on this path, remember that He is closer to you than you think, waiting for you to call on Him to help you find your way and fulfill your purpose in this life. If we want to connect with divine energy and manifest our needs and desires, it is essential that we learn to pray with gratitude and humility, trusting that God always listens to us and guides us towards the good. Remember that God's will for you is good, health, peace, happiness, and well-being, everything good that He has created. Trust in Him and you will see how your life begins to transform into a life full of light and love. 
Never forget that God is not a judge or a policeman or an executioner or a tyrant, as some would have you believe. He is the creator of seven laws, seven principles that govern all that exists in the universe. These laws never rest. They are always in action to maintain order and harmony at all times and in all places. On the spiritual plane, there is no need for policemen because those who do not act according to the law punish themselves. Everything you think is manifested in reality. So it is important that you learn to think correctly and according to the law so that you can receive all the good that God has prepared for you. St. Paul said that God is closer to us than our feet and our hands, even closer than our own breath. Therefore, you don't need to shout for God to hear you. This is the confirmation and clear example that God resides in each one of us and we are creators of our reality. I beg you not to believe everything I tell you without first checking it out for yourself. Is your divine and sovereign right? Do not continue to do what you have done so far, accepting everything you hear and see without questioning and judging what is right and what is wrong. As Jesus said, know the truth and the truth will set you free. You are unique, special and important. God has created you in his image and likeness, and he has a special and unique plan for you in this world. Trust in him and allow his love and wisdom to guide you every step of the way. Always remember that God is love and that his will for you is well-being, health, happiness, and peace. No matter what your current situation is, each of us has the power to change our destiny. We must learn to take charge of our lives, to be masters of our own future, and to fight for our dreams. We must have faith in ourselves and in the power of the universe, knowing that each of us has a place in this world and a task to fulfill. So don't give up in the face of difficulties and trials that may come your way. Remember that everything has a purpose and that every experience is an opportunity to learn and grow. You are unique, special and important, and you deserve everything good that the universe has to offer you. Spread your wings and fly towards your dreams. Remember that you are a divine being and that you deserve everything good that life has to offer you. Don't allow limiting beliefs to keep you from the happiness and well-being that are rightfully yours. Take control of your thoughts and become the master of your destiny. Open your mind and heart to the universal laws that govern the workings of the universe and take advantage of their wisdom to attract all that is good into your life. Don't give up in the face of adversity. Remember that within you, you have the strength to overcome any obstacle. Learn to think positively and you will see how your reality transforms into something much more beautiful and harmonious. Have faith in yourself and your ability to create a life filled with joy, love and abundance. Remember that God is always with you supporting and guiding you on your path to happiness and fulfillment. Open your heart to gratitude and you will see how life fills you with blessings and unexpected gifts. Don't stop in the face of fear. Remember that courage and determination are the keys that will open the doors to your most cherished dreams. Leave a comment saying I am a manifesting being and the universe grants me everything I want and desire. You are worthy of all that you want and feel from your heart. Now go to the next video to continue learning how to manifest the life you want but not before giving a like. Hit the bell and you know. Subscribe to the channel because I promise you that your life will change in an incredible way. I wish you the best in your life and see you in the next video.